Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another video. This is a how to video explaining how to do advanced file type association in Windows 10. I had a couple issues with some uh, file types that were not assigned to the application that I wanted to be assigned and there was no option on the open with menu to, you know, with a checkbox to say that use this forever. Um, I'm going to give you a quick example of, of what I mean. Like usually when you open a, a new file or um, still and an, um, a file that's not associated with any file extension in particular, usually you, you have um, an open with here. Um, instead of saying open with exemplate, it just says open with and uh, it does the same as uh, choose another application like it shows you this menu uh, gives you applications that might uh, suit you if it, there is none associated with the file type whatsoever it just says look for an app on the microsoft store um and in some cases you have this always use this app to open this file and in other cases <coughs> you don't have this um not the check file nor the look for another app so this is the normal way that you would update you would go to the file right click open with and select the file and then look for another app on this pc find the application associate with that and then click the checkbox to make sure that it's always open with this but in some cases in some rare cases you right click you do open with and you don't have these options. Um, the file type has already been associated with something and it can't be associated with other types of file types in particular. So how do you access these settings? Uh, the default uh, Google answer tells you that you should go to your settings and in your settings you have apps. And then on default apps, you have an option here to change stuff. This is not a very useful way to, to change things. It only lists the file types that he already knows about it. And you can only select uh, the applications that are installed uh, in your machine. For example, I want to associate a new file to the 265 here. It doesn't have an option like to search the, the, um, the file system. So I would have to find the actual file, do the open with, blah, blah, blah. Um, so this is not a very good method and also if you want to dissociate something from this there is no option to do that either so uh, two quick things that I learned while googling this first you can go to the registry on this particular thing on this uh, directory called file extensions you have to copy this whole uh, line and it lists all of the file extensions that you have so far and for each of them for example I don't know FreeGP I can check um, what applications it uses to open. In this case, it will try to open it with VLC as the IDs. For those, the, the different file types that it's associated with, um, it's a Windows Media Player file. It's also considered a VLC file. So it will give you uh, different options to try to open the 3GP based on this registry thing. If you want to delete all of the history, you can just delete this file here like Bam. and then you no longer have free gp on the file association lists which is really cool to have um the other thing that i learned is if you go to command file and i just type cmd here and i right click to make sure that i run as administrator um, there is this particular command called a sock which lists all the associations between uh file types and what application is supposed to run it so if i for example type asoth.freegp uh, it will show me that it's still associated with windows media player so it's deleted from the registry but not quite it's still lingering somehow in the system that this knowledge Anyways, this ASOC is very useful uh, for you to know exactly what kind of uh, files, um, what kind of file extensions are associated with what programs. You can also clean it completely. If you do ASOC.3GP equals nothing, next time that you call 3GP, it doesn't have any association. You can also 
associate with random uh, thing. You can even come up with a name like I don't know, special, special movie. Boom. And now this is a file type. It's a file type called special movie. And I could um, associate this file type with a specific application, whatever application that I want. And to do that, there's another command called ftype for file type. And it just lists all the associations that it currently has. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to search for special movie, ftype special movie. And it's going to tell me that it's not found anywhere. So... Um, that's good. I mean, I can associate with something. So to do that, I just tell him to associate all of the file types of special movie with this particular application that I'm going to list here. So I can do whatever application I want. I'm going to try using VLC, for example. I'm going to find where my VLC is at. Uh, Video LAN, VLC. And I have the executable here. I usually would copy this address here and paste it there. I have this special thing, uh, which was a hack in the registry to have a copy as path here, which I'm going to use. There's a video on my channel for this, if you want to use it as well. It's really easy to, to set up. Uh, and then I can copy paste it here and it will tell me that it will uh, call VLC whenever I try to open a 3.gp file format. Uh, I have to tell them that I want to open argument number one. And if I do this, everything named special movie um, will be opened with VLC, which is good. Um, and now it would be nice if I had uh, any random <laughs> .3GP movies here uh, to, to open, which I do not. But I do have some tracker modules I can pretend their uh, 3GP. Yes. And now if I run this, I have an option to open it on Windows Media Player. And it does play here. Um, so, so yeah, this is how you can control the different associations of the file types. Uh, a SOC and F type, very useful commands uh, to know. And I think now that I open it, if I go to registry and refresh, you see free GP has been updated and it's been opened with VLC once. So it's it will list now, it will remember that in the registry. Um, so yeah, this is the advanced way to access and change the file type associations uh, that you have in Windows 10, uh, better than the usual default uh, control panel thing. Hope the video was useful. See you next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.